I'm Leonard Zahn. Um, I am the chairman of the executive committee at the Harvard Stem Cell Institute and one of its founding members. Um, I'm also the director of the stem cell program at Children's Hospital of Boston and the Grosbeck Professor of Pediatrics at Harvard Medical School. I'm also an investigator of the Howard Hughes uh, Medical Institute uh, and I'm also generally a good guy. In the first story we worked at the Broad Institute who had found regions of human melanoma chromosomes that were amplified and therefore potentially had an oncogene that was driving the cancer. Now in one region on human chromosome 1, 30 percent of human melanomas have an amplification of this region, but nobody knew what the gene was that was responsible for this effect. So what we did is to look at that region, which contained 54 genes, and essentially we tested every one of those genes by injecting them into zebrafish and finding which of them would actually accelerate melanoma. One of those genes, called SETDB1, is an enzyme, and that enzyme is participating in accelerating the melanoma. It makes the melanoma more invasive, and uh, we're very interested now in trying to find a small molecule that can inhibit that particular enzyme, and that would be a new treatment for the 30% of patients who have amplification, and then an additional 40% of patients who overexpress this particular gene. In the second story, we're able to find a small molecule that we think will be a new treatment for melanoma. We found in the zebrafish model of melanoma that there was an expanded number of stem cells for the melanoma. We were surprised by this finding, and that led us to a chemical screen to find a small molecule that could actually block the stem cells. In fact, after screening 3,000 small molecules on zebrafish embryos, we found one small molecule that can, can completely get rid of the, of the stem cells. And with that, we were able to take that drug and treat human melanoma samples and show that it also reduces the melanoma. And in combination with a new drug that recently came out that shows promising effects, although patients relapse from that drug, in combination with that drug, we are able to see that the melanoma completely goes away. So we're very excited about taking the two drugs together into the clinic, a study that will be done at uh, Mass General and Dana-Farber Cancer Institute over the next year, and see if this actually works in human patients who have melanoma.